an autopsy is set for Monday. A 33-year-old woman was taken into custody. While police say the circumstances of the shooting appear accidental, they are still investigating. We saw police and detectives going in and out of one of the houses behind me for most of the day as they went about their investigation. Neighbors from the area also gathered to watch what was happening throughout the day. One of those neighbors who didn't want to appear on camera says she was familiar with the family involved. I just see the kids outside playing normal, like a normal day. It was like a normal family. And then today we woke up in this. Neighbors say they are shocked to hear what happened to such a young victim. Well, it's sad. I got a two-year-old in the house myself. I got five kids, so I just can't believe it. I'm, I can't believe that a two-year-old passed away in that type of way. It's the worst thing in the world to me. First tonight, police say a young girl is dead and a woman was hospitalized after a shooting on the 800 block of Orange Street in Helena last night. Orange Street is just uh, east of the Nature Park in central Helena. The suspect appeared in court this afternoon on one count of deliberate homicide, two counts of attempted deliberate homicide, and one count of criminal endangerment. MTN's Tom Buchanan was in court and has the latest. A judge set bond at $1 million for Tony Lewis Valles, the Helena man accused of shooting and killing a girl and injuring a woman Sunday evening. Well, I wish my officers and myself back when didn't have to respond to things like this because it's no worse thing than going to uh, when you have a kid that's hurt. Valles appeared in justice court this Monday afternoon. According to court documents, Valles was in his home when he believed that a woman and another individual had come to his residence in order to remove him. Documents go on to say that neither victim made any threatening gestures or verbal threats towards Valles. Police say that Valles admitted that he snapped, retrieved a firearm from his bedroom, and then began shooting at the two people. The woman was struck by the gunfire. Bullets fired, missed the second individual, but hit an eight-year-old girl nearby. The young girl was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead.
Thank you.